So you may find yourself working with someone who is decades older or younger than you. So how do you all work toward the same goal when you don't always speak the same language? I sat down with a local expert who's holding a workshop next week to break down the communications clash. Joining us now, Carolyn Gerner with Leadership Johnson County at Franklin College. Welcome. You're leading off a big discussion on generational differences. Yes. What is that all about? Well, each generation has a different idea about how the world works. They have a different reality based on what happened to them when they were uh, young, when the world was evolving to them. So some folks might see work as lifetime employment and others people might see work as a gig economy based on whatever happened while they were kind of forming their views of what the world is. So you are targeting though, what I would consider the younger worker. Yes. And, and who is that? Is that 18 to 30? <laughs> Help me here. Actually, we're looking at millennials. And right now, they're going to be uh, 21 to roughly their mid 30s. And that group of individuals has a, a really different perspective, even than the next group coming up through high school and college, which we're calling Generation Z. So the idea with the millennials is that they were raised in a very task focused environment. And so work for them is I do this at four o'clock and this at three o'clock and this at two o'clock. And while that's really efficient, it's not the way that work works. And so consequently, one of the things that we're trying to do is share with them the way that older generations view what it means to work a full day. And I will let you define old because I'm always very <laughs> careful, right? We have to be I careful, right? I take that right? personally as well. So how do, we, how do we describe the veteran workforce? Our veteran workforce is going to be the baby boomers, okay. which is roughly 1962 and back in terms of when they were born. And then our generation X will be the folks between the millennials and the baby boomers. So is this workshop? not really about helping the younger kids learn how to talk to their yes. older counterparts? Yes. Because they're talking two different languages. They one, are. One is on Venus and one is on Mars. It's exactly the same kind of idea where it feels like a different language because the assumptions are so different. So give me an example. So how is a millennial talking mm -hmm. to someone who is much older in life? Well, I think there's a couple of things I could example. Give me one. Give you one. there. One would be the idea that I am getting very friendly by calling you by your first name, being very casual, trying to make you feel comfortable. Whereas a baby boomer will take that as an affront, that you're not taking the conversation seriously enough or you're not taking the customer service seriously enough. And despite baby boomers being very friendly, there's a sense of formality so that we enjoy. So do I need to say sir and ma'am or Mr. Jones and Mrs. Jones? What, what do I say? Mr. and Mrs. would be fine. So don't but call you Barb or or, Thank you. Or Jim, right? <laughs> exactly. Right. And, and it's one of those assumptions about what is friendly that is really different across the generations. Because as talkative and friendly as boomers are, we still like a little bit of acknowledgement of our status. Now, all of this is very vital because when you are in a workplace, the culture demands a common language. Otherwise, yes. right, production doesn't get done or right. you could miss something that is key. So it's right. very important for everyone to speak that same language. Yes. And and basically, organizational culture is right now being set by the folks who have been there longest and that's the older generations. And so part of what this workshop will do is help the younger people understand why the values in the company are what they are. So what is it that really is behind um, the fact that this is the way that we treat customers or the fact that this is the way we package information? Let's connect with you on this great workshop. What is the date, time, and how do I get involved? It is Monday, May the 20th on the Franklin College campus in Franklin, Indiana. We start at 9 a.m. and you can see the pricing on your screen. To register, please go to leadershipjohnsoncounty.org and you will see the link there to sign yourself up for the program. Yeah, I've heard of Franklin College. It's a nice place. That's what I hear. They're pretty yeah, good alums. Yeah, they have good alums. That's what I hear as well. <laughs> Carolyn Gardner with Leadership Johnson County at Franklin College. Thank you so much. Thank Best you. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. It'll be fun. For more information and how to register, go to our website, HiringHoosiers.com. Go to our career resources section. You'll get all the information you need. You're watching the news at 7 on RTV6.